is Jenny. I've got a full body power flow for you today. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a little bit high intensity um, and we're going to cover a lot of ground. So if you're asked for something that's a little bit more slow and gentle, maybe go and have a look and choose from one of the other amazing classes that are already online. But yeah, we're going to get the heart rate up, get the blood pumping and um, yeah, keep it high energy and really just make it a full body experience. So if that's what you're after, then stick around and I hope you enjoy. Maybe grab some blocks, just have something nearby in case you need. Um, and we'll just get straight into it. So we're going to come into child's pose to start. The knees nice and wide, big toes coming together to touch at the back of your mat. And then slowly take your way down, drop your hands out, allowing your chest to come down to your mat. Maybe the forehead finds your mat. If that's just a little bit too intense at this stage, then feel free to place one forearm over the other to create a little headrest or fists over each other. And just starting to soften into this position. Starting to slow your breath right down. And just bring some awareness to your breath. Just noticing any kind of qualities. Just noticing how the breath moves your body. And ultimately just bringing us into that really nice parasympathetic nervous system, our place of calm, rest and digest. Setting the rhythm for your breath. A rhythm that will stay with you throughout your whole practice and let that be your guide if you start to become disconnected at all from this rhythm then finding your way back to your child's pose and just taking a little moment to reconnect so just a few more breaths in this position just doing a little body scan just noticing how your body is feeling right now any areas of tightness, maybe just moving around a little, just noticing your hips, shoulders, lengthening through your spine, starting just to activate the core gently, drawing the belly button up towards your spine. I'm just taking two more full breaths here. On your next inhale, let's start to move the body up and forward, finding our way into our tabletop position, spreading the fingers really nice and wide so you can ground the knuckles and palms down, making sure that we've got the nice stacked joints, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, hands about shoulder width apart, knees about hip width apart. And from here, we're going to just start to isolate the two movements through our cat and cows before we get into full cat and cows this morning. So keep the pelvis in a nice mutual, mutual position and on your next inhale just start to draw the shoulders back so you get that opening through the chest. Maybe take your gaze forward or up if that feels okay for your neck. And as you exhale, press into the hands, release the head and round out through the upper spine. Good. As you inhale, start to let the chest open, shoulders draw back, gaze forward or up. And exhale, press the ground away, release the head. Good, just a couple more breaths. Good, and then bringing that upper part of the spine back into a neutral position. We're going to keep that there and we're going to start to just move the pelvis here. So as you inhale, belly dips, 
sit bones tilt up towards the sky. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Good, inhale, belly dips, take the sit bones up. Exhale, tuck it under. Good, couple more breaths here, moving with your breath. Let the speed of your breath guide the speed at which you move. and then bringing the pelvis back into neutral. Now we're gonna to start to link it all together and move the whole body through our cat-cow. So as you inhale, belly dips, shoulders draw back, gaze forward, maybe up, if that feels good. And as you exhale, press into the hands, the tops of the feet, release the head, tuck the tailbone. Good, inhale, belly draws down, shoulders pull back. And exhale, press the ground away, round out through your spine. Good, keep moving with your breath. And starting to just bring some awareness into the spine, torso, just noticing any areas of tightness. Offering breath into those areas, just helping that release. I'm going to take two more full breaths here. Just allowing the spine to really wake up. And then find your way back into a neutral spine position. Good. From here on your next inhale, we're going to take the right leg back. Good. So just hold the foot here, keep extending pressing energy through the heel, Put the foot roughly around hip height. And then on your next inhale, the left arm's gonna reach forward. Good, just drawing belly button up to the spine, keep that core engaged. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, bring the elbow knee together underneath and let's press into the hand and knee round out through the spine. Good, inhale, let's extend and reach. Maybe drop the belly and let's get that our position happening and as we exhale elbow to knee coming into our cat pose good inhale reach and extend exhale bring it together and round out good two more times Good, take the leg and the arm out here, hold. Let's ground the left hand down, keep the right leg extended. From here, we're gonna bring the right leg all the way around to the side. So with control, bring the foot all the way around till it grounds. You can stay on the inner arch of the foot or press the whole foot down into the ground, whatever your preference is here. On your next inhale, let's take the left arm up towards the sky. And as we exhale, let's thread through, coming down onto that left shoulder. Maybe bringing blocks here under the shoulder, if that's a bit too much to come all the way down to your mat. And just gently pressing into that right hand, draw the shoulder back and down. You might like to interlace the fingers here, create a bind and draw the hands away from your body. Just noticing how that changes the sensations in the shape. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, let's press into that right hand, lift the torso up. Take the left hand back up towards the sky and then ground the hand back down to your mat. Good, core nice and engaged here. Let's pick the right foot back up and slowly bring it back around, grounding right knee down. Coming back into your neutral spine position. On your next inhale, take the left leg back behind you. Good, hold here. Maybe flexing the toes back towards your shin, but send energy through your heel. On your next inhale, right arm comes out. Good, nice active core here. Draw belly button towards the spine. And let's take an inhale here. And as we exhale, knee and elbow to come together underneath and let's round out through the spine. Good, inhale, extend the arm and leg. 
exhale, bring it under. Good, inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, crunch it up, round the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep the arm and leg extended. Bring the right hand back down to your mat. Let's take the left leg all the way around to the side. The foot should land roughly in line with that grounded knee as a guide. Again, either on the inner arch of your left foot or placing the whole foot down on your next inhale. Let's take the right arm up, open, and exhale, coming down onto your right shoulder. Good. Just take any little adjustments that you need. Just trying to bring some awareness into your body. Just to notice any feedback, any areas that you're feeling that you might need to be more mindful of in your practice this morning. Maybe interlacing the hands here and pulling the hands away from your body. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, press the left hand down into your mat with the torso up. Inhale, take the right arm high. Exhale, bring it back down to the mat. From here again with a nice active core, we're going to pick that left foot up. Bring it all the way around. Ground the left knee down. Coming back to your neutral spine position here, tabletop. Let's take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the sit bones, press back. Finding your downward facing dog. And just whatever you need here, whether that's stillness or movement, just taking a few breaths to feel into this, just to just see how the hamstrings are, bend the knees as much as you need, really press into the hands, spin the inner arms up towards the ceiling, allow chest just to fall back, head nice and heavy, maybe pedaling out the legs, maybe just focusing on the heels, softening back towards your mat. I'm just going to take two more breaths. And then from here, we're going to walk the feet all the way to the top of your mat, finding a forward fold. Keep the feet around about hip width apart here. Maybe just letting the arms dangle or coming into ragdoll. Again, whatever your preference is here, stillness or movement, Taking the weight into each foot, side to side or backwards and forwards between the balls of the feet, the heels. Or evenly placing the weight between both feet and moving the torso from side to side. All just options and just ways to explore your body. Again, maybe you're just focusing on stillness and just letting the weight of the head and the arm bind Draw you that little bit closer down to your mat. Knees as bent as you need here so the belly can just rest on the thighs. Taking a final inhale. And as you exhale, release the arms, heel toe the feet in towards each other, big toes touch, heels just slightly apart. We're gonna start to roll up. Taking it nice and slow, allowing the spine to stack. Shoulders release back and down. Inhale, take the arms up. A nice neutral pelvis here. Tailbone lengthens down. Let's draw up on the pelvic floor, belly button to spine. Soften through the front ribs. Lift up through the back ribs. Nice active legs. The kneecap lifts up. Maybe closing down the eyes just for one breath. On your next inhale, look up, reach up. And as we exhale, hands through heart, forward fold. Inhale, take halfway lift, nice flat back here. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, one more time, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to your mat, stepping back, high plank. Let's hold here, drop knees if you need. 
if you're just working on building strength here or you're wanting to just take it a little bit more easy this morning, keep the knees grounded. If you're looking for more of a challenge, knees lift. Lift the kneecaps up the legs and away from the mat. On your next inhale, shift slightly forward. As we exhale, let's lower, hug the elbows in so they sweep past the ribs. Come all the way down, belly grounds. Untuck the toes, inhale, roll the shoulders back. Hands are nice and light, elbows squeeze in, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press the hands down. Downward facing dog, two breaths. Good. On your next inhale, let's start to gaze forward. As you exhale, walk or step your feet all the way to the top, forward fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift, draw the shoulder blades together so you get that nice flattening through the back. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale to stand, rise one big breath, reach the arms. Exhale, hands through heart or swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands ground, stepping back, high plank, hold for your inhale, lower on your exhale. Take cobra or up dog if you're ready, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, two breaths. On your next inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Press it up. Also back, keep pressing evenly into the hands so the shoulders stay square. Taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, bring the knee to the chest and hold. Good, lift the knee up and away. On your next inhale, take the leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee comes behind the right elbow, hold. Inhale, kick the leg back up. Exhale, this time, bring the knee to the chest, step the right foot on the outside of your right hand. We're gonna come into lizard pose here, so feel free to grab blocks. Obviously, this can be quite deep for the hips this early on. Maybe grounding the back knee feels better for you. Maybe coming onto the fists. If you can stay really high here, you might like to come down onto your forearms either forearms to mat or forearms to block. You might like to take the right hand to the right knee and just press a little here. So you're gonna take two more breaths. Good. And then from here, start to bring the weight all the way into that front foot, the right foot. We're gonna step the left foot all the way up and then find our way into Malasana. Good, so let the sit bones sink down. Nice long spine here, elbows into knees. A little resistance here, we can press the knees back into the elbows. Two breaths. Good, just taking one more inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna lift the hips and come into a forward fold. Heel toe the feet back in towards each other so they end up about hip width. And on your next inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Stack the spine, reach the arms. Exhale, hinging at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands ground, stepping back. High to low plank, chaturanga. Dandasana, we lower as we exhale. Inhale, heart lifts, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog, two breaths. On your next inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. Good, let's really extend through the heel. Make that leg nice and long. Lift up, press back, take an inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Hold here, lift the knee up and away from your mat. Press into the hands. On your next inhale, take the leg up. Exhale, El knee to elbow, sorry, hold here. Good, stay strong. On your next inhale, take the leg back up. And then exhale, knee to chest, 
Step the left foot on the outside of your left hand, finding your lizard pose. So again, lots of variations. Coming on to fists, staying on the hands, bringing blocks, grounding that back knee, staying high. Maybe bringing the left hand onto the inside of the left knee and just pressing out a little here. Get a little rotation through the upper spine. Two more breaths. And then starting to bring the weight into the left foot. We're going to step the right foot all the way up to the front of the mat, finding Malasana. Sit bones sink down, hands in heart, maybe pressing elbows to knees, knees back. Two breaths here. And taking a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, lift the hips, find the fold, heel to the feet in. And on your next inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, let's rise all the way up. Big breath in, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands to mat, step it back. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower as we exhale. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog, two breaths. On your next inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Good, hold here. Taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, knee to chest, set the foot between the hands this time. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Rise up, crescent lunge. Good, so sink down as low as you want here. You can stay high, you can really get deep into this. You can ground the back knee, whatever suits where you're at right now. And you can stay here with the hands exactly where they are. You can bring hands to hips if you like. Or you can come with me, we're gonna take the right hand down. Good, and then take it all the way behind you. Follow your hand with your gaze. And then inhale, let's bring the hand back up. Good, exhale, left hand comes down. You might like to follow the hand with the gaze to challenge balance a little bit more. Inhale, bring the arm back up. Good. Hold here for an inhale. And as you exhale, let's take the hands back down to your mat. Inhale, kick the leg back up. Three-legged dog. Hold here. Good. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, knee to chest. Step the foot between your hands. We're going to come up through crescent lunge as we inhale. And then open out warrior two. Exhale. Set this up, find your feet, making sure that that front knee isn't caving inward so it's tracking over that middle pinky toe edge of that front foot. Sink to hips as low as you want to go. Squeeze the glutes, hug your heels towards each other. Arms reach away, shoulders release back and down. On your next inhale, let's reach forward. Exhale, elbow finds the front thigh. Left arm reaches up and over extended side angle. Making sure not putting too much weight into that front leg. You can take hand to a block here. Keep pressing into your back foot. Really ground that left pinky toe down into your mat. Enjoy that nice side stretch here. Taking one more inhale and exhale. Inhale, let's start to lift back up. Exhale, find your warrior two. And on your next inhale, let's flip and reverse. Right arm comes high, left hand slides down the leg, either gazing down towards your left foot or up towards your right hand. Just whatever feels best for your neck. Taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, hands come down to your mat, 
stepping back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Let's take two breaths here. On your next inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Good, let's just really hold here, press into the hands, lift that leg up and back. For another inhale, and as you exhale, knee to chest, step the foot between your hands, stay on the ball of the back foot, sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Again, Take your options here if you need to ground the back knee or keep the hips high. Maybe sinking a little lower. Play around a little. You don't really know until you start to explore the pose what feels best for you. Again, you have options with the arms. You can leave them here, take hands to hips, or you can come with me. We're gonna start to drop that left hand down now. Keep it slow, take the hand behind you, follow with your gaze. And let's bring it up as we inhale. Good, exhale, right hand comes down. Take it back. Inhale, sweep it back up. Taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hands back to your mat. Inhale, kick your left foot up. Three-legged dog, hold here. Taking one more inhale. And as you exhale, knee to chest, step the foot through. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, let's open warrior two. So again, find your feet, find your hips, maybe a little wiggle around. It's not always expecting one side to mirror the other. It can feel quite different from one side to the other, but making sure we set up nice and safely, the knees tracking over that middle toe, not caving inwards. And you can just hang out in your joints in this pose, or you can really activate and turn on the muscles. So let's do that here. Squeeze on the glutes. Hug the heels towards each other. Really start to fire up through these adductor inner thigh muscles. Find lightness through the shoulders, through the face. And keep the legs exactly where they are. On your next inhale, let's reach forward. Exhale, side angle. And you've got this whole nice long line of energy all the way from the knife edge of your right foot, traveling all the way up through the side body, out through your right fingertips. Making sure, again, we're not putting too much weight into that front thigh. So help yourself out, take your hand to a block and press into your back foot, taking one more inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, let's start to come back up. Exhale, find your warrior two. Sinking maybe just a little lower here. And on your next inhale, let's flip and reverse. Left arm comes up this time. Right hand slides down your back leg. Taking one more inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands down to your mat. Stepping back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. And exhale. We're gonna start to flow this together now. So. One breath, one movement. And here we go. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot all the way through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, take the hands back to your mat. Inhale, kick it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot all the way through. Inhale, let's sweep up. Exhale, open. Warrior two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, let's start our coming up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip and reverse. Exhale, hands come down. Stepping back, 
through your vinyasa. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot all the way through to the front. Inhale, sweep the arms, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands ground. Inhale, kick the foot back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee comes through, foot steps through, sweep the arms up as we inhale. Open, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, side angle. Inhale as we start to lift. Exhale as we sink back, warrior two. Inhale, sweep and reverse. Exhale, hands to the mat, stepping back through your vinyasa. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time each side. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot through. Inhale, let's rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands ground. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot back through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, open. Inhale. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands, find your mat. Step it back. Lower as we exhale. Heart lifts as you inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left side, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot through. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to reach. Exhale, side angle. Inhale to lift. Exhale, land warrior two. Inhale, sweep and reverse. Exhale, hands to your mat. Stepping back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog, two big breaths. Feel free to drop into child's pose if that's what you need here. We're going to keep moving and keep the heat and keep the heart rate up here. But please, if you need to just take a child's pose and do that and join back in whenever you're ready. If you want to keep going on your next inhale, take your right leg up, three-legged dog. Let's bend the knee and open up the hips this time. So. Take that knee nice and high, really get that stacking of the top hip onto the bottom. Taking one more inhale. And as we exhale, close the hips, bring the knee to the chest, step the foot between your hands, and let's rise up, crescent lunge. Good, hold here. And we can always take a wider stance here by heel toeing that front foot out, creating more stability here. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, bring the hands into heart center. Inhale, let's lean forward, keep length through the spine, so keep extending through the crown of the head. We're gonna take a twist here, so take the left elbow over the right knee, get the bind first, and press the top hand into the bottom. You can ground that back knee if you like. We're gonna be here for just one more breath. Good, then coming back to center, inhale, lift the arms back up. And then from here, we're gonna stand into the front foot, lift the left knee up, take the leg, the left foot across the right leg. We're coming into eagle. So you can take the bind by hooking that left foot all the way around the right calf, or you can just left, leave the left foot hanging out if that feels better for you. Let's sit down here now, so hug the inner thighs, into each other, sink back nice and deep. Eagle arms, let's take inhale, take the arms out. Exhale, bring left under right. Take the bind of the arms if you like, or again, you can just take 
hands to shoulders if that feels better. Palms together here, elbows lift up, shoulders release back and down. And the more we sit back into this, the more stable and steady you will feel. Good, just one more breath. Good, take an inhale. And as you exhale, let's start to fold forward. Keep the binds as long as you can here till you get to the point where you just need to unravel. Let's kick that left foot up high, standing split. Good, release the head here. Press the foot up, take one more breath. And we'll start to droop, bring that left knee into the chest. And let's stand up here. Ooh, embrace the wobbles. <laughs> bring the hands around your left knee. That's good. Find your center here. You can just stay here holding this, or you can bring the right hand around the left knee and start to take the left hand back. If you want to add on here, you can start to take the gaze back as well. One more breath. Nice. And then coming back here. We're going to take the right arm up here. Grab the left ankle with the left hand. Let's stay in just a nice quad stretch here for a moment. Make sure the knees are aligned and press the foot into the hand, the left foot into that left hand just to get that nice release happening down through the front of that left quad. And you can stay right here if that's enough for you or you can start to make your way into dances. So let's kick and reach, kick and reach, kick and reach. Just hold one more breath and then start to come back up. Release that foot back down Next to the right, give the legs a little shake if they need. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take halfway. Exhale, hands to your mat, stepping back. Chaturanga Dandasana, or just press straight back into downward facing dog. If you don't want to take the vinyasa here. Take a full inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Let's bend the knee, open the hips. Take that knee as high as you can. Maybe come up onto the ball of the right foot. Let's get a little bit more height here. And a nice stacking of the hips. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, close the hips. Knee to chest, step the foot between the hands. Let's come up, present lunge. Once again, find your feet. Hug the inner thighs inwards, pelvic floor lifts up, belly button to spine. Let's get the core working for us. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, hands into heart center. Inhale, lean forward. Then exhale, let's take the bind. Right elbow over left knee. Then press the top hand into the bottom so the hands end up, end up being about center of your chest. You can always ground that back knee down if you like, or really press into the ball of the back foot. Just holding for one more breath. And then coming back to center, arms come back up. And then start to take the weight into your front foot. Step the right foot up, take it across the standing leg. And again, your choice whether you bind the foot around the calf or just leave the foot hanging out to the side. Then let's take the arms down to shoulder height, take an inhale. And then exhale, right arm under left. Let's take eagle arms or just hands to shoulders. And now let's sink down into this pose. The more we sit into this, the more stable we'll feel. Let's try and bring the shoulders up, sorry, the elbows up, shoulders release back and down. Let's find the space in this constriction. Let's find the spans. Just notice the widening through the top of your back. Let's take in another breath here. Good, and let's start to fold forward. Again, keep the binds as long as you can. 
And then when you need to, let's just unravel, take that right leg up, standing flip. Release the head, nose to knee. We're not here for long, so really press that right foot up. Take one more breath. And then start to draw the knee into the chest. And let's stand up here. Woo! Hands come around the knee. Just steady yourself here. Again, you can just stay here. Or left hand comes around the right knee. Right arm back. Again, just to challenge your balance a little more, you can take the gaze back. Good, just one more breath. And we'll start to come back towards the front. Inhale, take the left arm up. Exhale, let's take the right hand around the right ankle. Again, pausing here just to get that nice quad stretch. Keep the knees in line. A little kicking of that foot into the hand. Releasing through the front of that right quad. And either to stay here with this or you can start to move into dancers. Kick and reach. Kick and reach. Kick and reach. Take one more breath. And then slowly start to come back out. Place the right foot down. Shake out legs a little here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take halfway. Exhale, hands ground, stepping back. High plank, let's hold here in high plank. Now you can ground the knees if you need. And please just listen to your body here. If you wanna stay strong and keep challenging yourself, come back up into a full high plank. From here, we're gonna bring the left hand into the center of the mat. Bring the big toes together to touch. We're gonna to fall over onto the knife edge of the left foot. Take the right arm up, coming into side plank. Feel free to ground that bottom leg if you need, making sure the shoulder is stacked over the wrist here. If you wanna add on, you can take the right leg up for three, two, one. Bring that leg back down, right hand back to your mat. Come back into your plank. And let's set up for the other side. Right hand comes down, big toes come together to touch. Falling over to the knife edge of your right foot. Left arm reaches. So we lift the hips here, press the ground away. Stay here, ground that bottom leg or lift the top leg up. So three, two, one, and let's come back to your high plank. Once again, feel free to ground the knees here if you need. We're gonna lower down all together with my count. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take cheek to mat. And just let go here. It's important to embrace the rest. Find your breath. Arms can be long or they can be stacked here. Making a little pillow for your head. Just letting go, let the ground support your weight. And you can just stay here resting or you can come with me. We're gonna take the arms back. We're gonna come into locust pose. So palms face down, forehead grounds here. I'm gonna press the tops of the feet into the mat, press the pubic bone down. Let's start to lift the chest up. As we lift up, we also wanna be lengthening forward so not just crunching into the lower back here. So lift up, but also lengthen. Good, and you might start to hover the feet off the mat here. You might start to hover the arms up. Good, stay with your breath for two more. Good, and then slowly start to lower down. Other cheek to mat here. Mm. 
and then you come back into locust pose. So again, let's set it up. Take the arms long by your side, palms face down, forehead to your mat. Let's press into the tops of the feet, press the pubic bone down, start to lift the chest up. And again, from here, you might like to hover the legs, arms hover. You might like to interlace the fingers here. Take the bind and pull the hands back towards your feet. So keep the neck nice and straight here and gaze just about the top of your mat. Good, keep lifting and lengthening. Hold as you exhale. Two more breaths. And slowly release, nice. And just stacking one hand over the other, forehead onto your hands. Just a little wiggling through the hips here. Letting go when you get the chance to release and rest. You really have to maximize that. So we give ourselves the best chance of just minimizing any fatigue or avoiding it all together. And then from here, we're just going to come up into Sphinx Pose. So bring the elbows under the shoulders. Hands just grounding down. Spread the fingers nice and wide. And just really kind of switch on through the legs here. So you might notice the kneecaps lift up off the mat. Press tops of the feet down. Glutes squeeze on. Lift the stern and forward here. Two more breaths. And then just bring the hands back so they're underneath the shoulders. Let's tuck the toes and just press up onto your knees and come all the way into a kneeling position. And then from here, we're simply gonna just transition into a seat. So you can flick the feet out to the side, bring the legs long. And then let's scoot to the front of your mat, keep the knees bent. Let's come down onto our back body so you can just support yourself down here or make this more core. Always ways to take everything up or down. So make your way down however you like, whether it's through more of a core stretch, core activation or a supported Good, keep the knees bent here. Bring the heels as close to your sit bones as you can. If your arms are stretched out, you should be able to just brush the backs of your heels with your fingertips. We're setting up for bridge pose here. So we wanna lower or flatten the lower back onto the mat and start to pick from the tip of the tailbone all the way up, let's roll the spine off the mat. Press into the feet, lift the hips, Good, keep the knees hip width here. Let's get the hips nice and high. And just hold here for two breaths. And we'll start to slowly lower back down, releasing your spine back onto the mat. Good. I'm just gonna set up for one more bridge here. So if you want to take wheel, please feel free. Otherwise, we're going to come back into our bridge. Let's start by flattening the lower back down, picking up from the tip of the tailbone, rolling the spine off the mat, and then either just holding here or maybe bringing the shoulders underneath each other or underneath themselves. Take the interlace of the hands here, taking the bind, pulling the hands towards your feet. Let's really soak it up. Nice heart opening pose here. Press into the feet, keep lifting the hips. Good, two more breaths. And then slowly releasing the bind if you took that and start to place the spine back onto your mat. 
And we'll bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. And just a little swaying through the hips here. And then from here, we're just going to bring the knees into the chest. Give, himself, give yourself a nice big squeeze. And keep that right knee hugged in, extend the left leg long. And then let's come into a supine twist here. So just shuffling the hips over to the right, bring the knee down over to the left. You get the nice stacking of the top hip on the bottom. Arms can come out shoulder height, keep that right shoulder blade grounded maybe. Take the gaze over the right hand. Staying with your breath here. Staying in your practice. You were able to carve out this time for yourself. And let's just make the most of it. Try not to let the mind wander ahead to what you might be doing after this. Or anything that's happened before this. Just stay in the moment. Taking one more breath. And let's bring the knee back up to center. Extend the right leg long. Bring the left knee in. Give it a nice big squeeze. And then take the knee over to the right side. Again, we'll just shuffle the hips to the left. Get that nice stacking. Arms extend. Maybe gazing out over that left shoulder. Taking one more breath here. And bringing that knee back up to center. Extending the left leg long. We're going to set up here for our final pose, which is Shavasana. So legs long, or maybe taking Sutta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees out wide, whatever feels better for you. Arms long, palms facing up. Just let the feet fall out if the legs are extended. And just let the ground completely support your weight. So really giving over, letting go of these last few moments. Taking a nice big deep breath in. We'll exhale to empty. And just bring a little bit of movement back into your body. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. And feel free to just stay here in Shavasana for as long as you can. For as long as you would like to. And when you're ready, roll the knees into your chest. Roll over onto your right side. And then slowly make your way back up into a seat. And this is where I will leave you. So I hope you enjoyed this practice. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it has in store for you. Namaste.